The 1975 ground-supported aircraft A-10C Thunderbolt II has been in service with the U.S. Air Force for decades. And even though the model has received numerous updates throughout the years, it wasn't until early 2022 that the Warthog had its limited bomb capacity enhanced. While the traditional aircraft could only mount a single weapon on each of its pylons, the new upgrade enabled it to carry up to four 250-pound bombs or small-diameter bombs. Moreover, the ground support aircraft will be able to destroy threats from 50 miles. In a few words, the Thunderbolt II has been effectively converted into a bomb truck. A-10 Evolution The A-10C Thunderbolt II was the first Air Force aircraft specifically designed for close air support of ground forces. Its story can be traced back to the A-10A, which was delivered as early as 1975 at davis Monthan Air Force Base in Arizona. Simple, effective, and survivable, the aircraft merged the capability to carry large military loads, long loiter, and a wide combat radius. During Operation Desert Storm and Operation Noble Anvil, the model proved to be an invaluable asset to the United States Armed Forces. Throughout the Gulf War, A-10s had a mission-capable rate of 95.7% in 8,100 sorties. Plus, they launched 90% of the AGM-65 Maverick missiles. In 2005, the entire fleet of A-10s, totaling 356 examples, underwent an upgrade program known as Precision Engagement. The older models were fitted with an improved flight and fire control system, electronic countermeasures, and smart bomb targeting. The enhanced aircraft were redesignated A-10C. Two years later, the Government Accountability Office estimated the cost of the service life extension plans for the A-10 force, including upgrades and refurbishment, at no less than $2.25 billion. Moreover, in 2010, the Air Force integrated Raytheon's helmet-mounted integrated targeting system into the A-10C. The last example was reconfigured to the new standard in 2011. Among the most notable changes, the improved version received all-weather combat capability, a hand-on throttle and stick configuration inherited from the F-16 and the F-15, two multifunction displays, and a modern communication suite with Link 16 radio and SATCOM. On top of the original changes, the platform received multiple software updates until 2014. It was early that year that the aircraft was planned to be retired. Nevertheless, the program continued under congressional pressure, and the modern suite was installed in the A-10C. With the IFF Mode 5 software, the aircraft's ability to be identified by friendly units was modernized. The model then continued in service for several years. Perks The low-wing cantilever monoplane offers exceptional maneuverability at low air speeds and altitude without sacrificing its highly accurate weapon delivery capabilities. Able to loiter near the battlefield for an extended period, the Thunderbolt II can also land in austere conditions. In addition, its ceiling rises to a thousand feet and has a visibility of 1.5 miles, and it can operate above, below, and in the weather while carrying precision-guided and unguided munitions. Furthermore, the aircraft has a wide combat radius, and its short takeoff and landing capabilities make it an ideal choice for operations in and out of precise locations near the front lines. What's more, with its twin jet engines, the Thunderbolt II can be deployed against light maritime attack aircraft, in addition to all ground targets such as tanks and diverse armored vehicles. Thunderbolt IIs are equipped with NVIS, or night vision imaging systems. Using goggles, pilots are able to execute missions in utter darkness. Likewise, the aircraft has a goggle-compatible single-seat cockpit, helmet-mounted queuing system, and a considerable bubble canopy, allowing for all-around vision. Armament and Protection In terms of protection, a titanium armor shields the pilots, strategically laid out to cover key sections of the flight control system as well. 
Survivability is significantly better than previous close air support aircraft, partly due to the redundant primary structural sections. Thus, Thunderbolt 2s are able to withstand direct hits from armor-piercing or high-explosive projectiles up to 23 mm, while internal and external foam protect the self-sealing fuel cells, as manual systems back up the redundant hydraulic flight control ones, allowing pilots to fly and land in case hydraulic power is lost. Besides, the aircraft can be serviced and operated from bases with limited facilities around battle zones. Remarkably, many parts are interchangeable left and right, namely the engines, main landing gear, and vertical stabilizers. As for the avionics equipment, the suite features communications, inertial navigation and GPS, fire control systems, and target penetration aids. In turn, the weapons delivery systems have a heads-up display indicating airspeed, altitude, dive angle, navigation information, and weapons aiming references. The LASTI, or Low Altitude Safety and Targeting Enhancement System, constantly provides computing impact point freefall ordnance delivery. However, the system was upgraded and replaced with the Integrated Flight and Fire Control Computer, or IFFCC. The Thunderbolt 2 also has armament control panels, as well as infrared and electronic countermeasures to respond to surface-to-air threats, including both missiles and anti-aircraft artillery. Moreover, the aircraft features a GAU-8A Gatling gun of 30mm, capable of firing 3,900 rounds per minute. Hence, the model can indeed defeat a wide range of ground targets, including tanks. Plus, Thunderbolt 2s feature self-protection systems and an array of air-to-surface weapons, ranging from laser and GPS-guided munitions to AGM-65 and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. Bomb Truck In early 2022, the U.S. Air Force released photos of a new upgrade for the A-10C. The images showed a Thunderbolt II loaded with GBU-39 Small Diameter Bombs, or SDBs. Not much information was disclosed, except that the test was carried out on February 9, 2022, in the surroundings of Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, by the 40th Flight Test Squadron. The upgrade was actually announced in 2019, as one of several major enhancements the affectionately nicknamed Warthog would receive. The integration of the GBU-39 bombs on the Thunderbolt II was started in 2020, when the Warzone reported the weapon was in the developmental testing phase with the 40th Flight Test Squadron, Detachment 1, in davis monthan Air Force Base, Arizona. At first, the GBU-39 was deployed aboard the F-15E Strike Eagle as early as 2006. To this day, the weapon has been fitted on the F-16, F-22, AC-130, Gripen, and Tornado, and will soon be used on the F-35, B-1, B-2, and B-52. The SDB, as explained by Stefano Dorso in an article for The Aviationist, is a small 250-pound bomb. The multipurpose, insensitive, penetrating bomb has a blast fragmentation warhead for stationary targets and features deployable wings for extended standoff range. Upon release, the wings open to allow the GPS-guided bomb to glide for several miles before accurately hitting its target. When launched at high speeds from high altitudes, the bomb can travel no less than 50 miles so that the A-10C can remain out of the range of most surface-to-air missile batteries. The future. The overall program is part of the A-10 Common Fleet Initiative, and its objective is to keep the aircraft in the Air Force's inventory intact until the late 2030s. Still, Dorso explained that the program aims to simultaneously maintain the A-10C as a credible and lethal threat during that period. The journalist added that the fleet must be kept in perfect conditions in case an eventual high-end conflict should arise. Until the Warthog received this last update, it had a limited carrying capacity of a single weapon on each pylon. Now, the aircraft has been enabled to carry four SDBs on each, successfully converting the airship into a bomb truck. The picture clearly depicts the aircraft carrying four BRU-61s, totaling 16 SDBs. As such, the Thunderbolt II will release the standoff weapons, effectively eliminating threats 50 miles away. Then, after engaging threats in the target area, 
The aircraft is expected to fulfill its role as close air support to troops on the ground. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit the like button and leave us a comment below to let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more military-inspired content. Also, hit the bell icon to be the first to know about our newest releases. Stay tuned.